Alrighty guys, so like six videos ago I said I wasn't going to do any more videos until my wife got back, but um, we had a uh, we had a little chat and she said, yeah, you know what, any any beers that you think I, I won't like, you know, go ahead and review them yourself. <clears throat> so, just shows what a keeper she is. So, this is the one I'm going to do now. Hopefully you guys could read that. This is the Turn Up the Heat Brown Ale by Lance Meyer. And straight off the bat, when I opened it, I got a big whiff of the uh, beer. And Lance, I have like a million questions for you. So if you could PM me, maybe give me, um, or we could do Uvu as well. But I've got like a million questions that would probably just be easier to ask either if I called you or Uvu or did Uvu. Because um, this beer right off the top is, I'm not going to lie. It's a solid 10 for smell. Like, right off the bat, I'm giving this bad boy a 10. Uh, let me move this for a second, and I'll move it back. So what I've been doing, guys, is keeping a Excel spreadsheet of all the beers, taste, smell, carbonation, and all that. Um, so that's what I'm opening right now. But right now, one, look, the color is nice. The color isn't... It, it looks in this because it's kind of dark in this area where I'm sitting right now it looks dark um, but really under the light it's not so much brown as it is almost like a caramel color so just so you have some perspective on it but smell I love spicy stuff um, smell right off the bat I'm gonna give it a 10 um, as you can see carbonation is already pretty good it's a good one finger it's basically been around there the whole time so really the uh, only thing left to do right now is to uh, give this bad boy a good old uh, taste test. Just trying to keep track of my score so far. That is a pepper beer. Now the name of it is uh, Turn Up the Heat Brown Ale. Which might be a little concerning in the beginning. But it's not it's not hot at all. Which, you know, I, I don't know if Lance was shooting for hot. I mean, he was only using jalapenos and um, Anaheim's, which aren't very hot to begin with. But um, I really like the smell of this beer. Carbonation-wise, I mean, it's got a good head, as you can see, but it's just, um, I think it might have done better, because it, it sounds, from reading the description on the beer, it sounds like it was, um, he used a beer gun to fill it. And I feel like it just needs a little bit more carbonation. So it probably would have been, it's probably a lot better right off the keg because it's really going to have that, that, that carbonation. And w what I mean is, with a pepper beer like this, the more carbonation, the better because it's really going to pop in your mouth. And you're, and you're really going to feel it all the way up and down your tongue. But it's not, it, carbonation's still good. I, I, like, a, I'd still give it a solid seven on carbonation. And I, um, I'm kind of kicking myself because I wish for tonight, for dinner, I um, I did like tacos or something. SJ, I know you just said tacos, my man, but let me tell you. And anyone having this, pair this with a Mexican meal, man. I like it a lot. I, I think it's a really good beer. Um... I do a jalapeno lager, and because of that, I've got a bit of a background in pepper beers. That being said, I think that the jalapenos weren't 100% ripe. And what I mean is they're probably still uh, green and uncracked. And the reason I can tell that is I get a bit of a vegetable taste. Um, and anyone who's ever made, if you look at my past videos, you've seen I've done a bunch of crazy shit. I've made a ton of beers with, um, let's see, what do I do? I do bananas, pumpkins, peppers, cranberries. Uh, I, I've done a bunch of things, and I know that if you're not careful and you, you put the peppers in 
or whatever the fruit is too early and there isn't enough sugars present that you can get a bit of it's called a vegetal or basically vegetable taste and, and I pick up a hint of that um, it's not bad I feel like it would be masked a lot more if I had this straight from the keg and I say that from experience because I've had you know I, I've had a jalapeno if you check my prior videos I've had a jalapeno lager and a jalapeno um, ale so I, I know what I'm talking about with that, that smidge of a vegetable taste but um it's still good, man. Uh, this is going to be the first one that I give a .5 on. So I'm going to give it a 7.5. So that means basically for a carbonation, I think it needs a little bit more. Um, it, it looks from your video or from your description that you um, that you used a, uh, what's it called, um, beer gun to fill it. And I think that might have altered the carbonation. Uh, I'm... I've never used a uh, beer gun myself, so I don't know how to compare. But I've I've been told and I've read online that it does a really good job at fill. It does a pretty good job at filling it, but it's nowhere near as good as bottle carving. Bottle carving is if you're going to serve it out of a bottle, that's the best way to have the best pressure. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is a solid beer, and and I'm really going to enjoy it. I'm also glad you use this plastic container. I don't, I don't know what size this is, man, but I've topped this thing off. This will now be the second time I've topped it off. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of beer in this. I don't know what size this little plastic is, but I like it. It's the size I like. Anything, I mean, the more beer, the better. So yeah, man, right now I've got this, uh, 7 for carbonation, a 10 for smell. I mean, I love the smell. I have a really nice, um, expensive, um, it's Whole Foods, so everything from Whole Foods is expensive, but block of, uh, pepper jack cheddar that I'm going to have this with in, like, two minutes and really enjoy it. I, I think this was a good beer, Lance. I think you did a great job. Um, so final score is a 24.5. Oh! Looks like somebody's trying to burn something, so I'm going to be right back. So there I was, saying that I didn't think Lance's beer was that hot, and son of a bitch, he set off my fire detector. Man, oh man. Well, now that crisis has been averted, and I've put a cap on his beer, and I guess I'll have to cover it like this so it doesn't set off the fire alarm. Lance, I think you made a great beer. I'm going to try to wrap this up real quick, buddy. Uh, just another wrap-up. Carbonation, 7. Smell, 10. Taste, 7.5. That gives you a total score of 24.5. Divide that by 3, you have a 8.1 beer, which I would say is pretty damn good, man. I don't even know if my beer is going to get rated that high, so there's a good solid chance you did a better job than me. So, I bow to you, sir. Um... Yeah, I still have a bunch of questions for you, man. So if you could private message me or you want to Uvu, hit me up. Uh, on Uvu, I'm J.R. Belcher. Um, private message me because uh, I, I really got a lot of questions for you, man. I, I think you did a good job, and I actually want to incorporate some of what you did in my other um, jalapeno lager beer or my jalapeno ale. I haven't decided which one I'll make next. But uh, maybe also we could do like a joint brew. I could make it. You could make it. We could trade them. See what happens. But yeah, man. Mad respect. Really like what you did with this. I'm going to enjoy it. And uh, I'm going to take it easy. So you, sir. Cheers. Thanks again for being in the competition. Thanks for doing such a good job. And uh, enjoy your beers. And take it easy, everybody. Peace.